And um, as you must have read from the title, this is my K-pop CD collection. Now, um, this was actually requested a while ago, but I've been kind of putting it off because I either didn't have the time at that time and recently it was just because I totally forgot about it but um, someone actually requested it again and then um, I was thinking of doing it but I wasn't sure if you guys would want to watch it so um, for the ones who follow me on Twitter you know that I actually tweeted out if you guys would be interested in watching it and a few of you did so I said why not so today I am going to show you my K-pop CD collection now um, see how I only said CD because I will say that my K-pop collection is quite large um, and you know it includes not only CDs but like DVDs and other like merchandises and everything so this video is all about just CDs in general and um, probably is going to be like a few parts to it because it's going to be long i don't want like two long videos for you guys to be watching um so yeah this is all about cds but if you guys are interested in seeing like my dvd collection and um like the merchandises related to k-pop and everything like that that'll probably be in a separate video but that is up to you guys if you want to see them or not so um before i do start i want to say that um i'm not here to like brag about how many k-pop stuffs i have or anything it's you know i've been collecting them for a while now so it's not something that you know you could accomplish or get to within like a year or so it took i would probably say six seven years for me to collect all of these and of course money wise i have been saving up for you know it so definitely not bragging or anything so Let's get to it. Now I will probably start um, with artist by artist, the way I'm going to introduce them to you. And I will probably start with um, the very first, first CD that I have ever, ever bought. So this is part one of three parts to this CD collection. So let's get to it. So for the ones out there know that I actually started getting in, started back into liking K-pop because of Dongbang Shingi. So the very first album that I ever ever bought was Dongbang Shingi's 2005 summer single album Hayaya. So this is it. Um, it is called Hayaya Yorumnal. So this was like the very very first um, album that I ever ever bought and it looks like this a regular single and then along with this I also bought um, Show Me Your Love Show Me Your Love which is a collaboration between Dongbang Shingi and um, Super Junior and it's um, a winter album Show Me Your Love I really really like that so the first artist I will let you guys, I will go through would be Dongbang Shingi. So um, when I started liking Dongbang Shingi, they were actually doing a lot of promotions in Japan. So a lot of the albums I have are their Japanese albums. So the first one, in no particular order, because I, I don't know like their release date or anything. But the very first one is um, their Toho Shingi T album. Is it album? I don't know. I think it is. It has 14 tracks. Yes. Then we have, I don't know how to pronounce this one. <laughs> okay, so it's also Toho Shinki's, um, I don't know, it's like Toshite something something something. <laughs> I don't remember how to say this, but yeah. Next up is Toho Shinki's Beautiful You. Very nice. And as you can tell, that time, there wasn't anything like fancy about these albums. It's just like a regular album with like DVD and um, CDs. So um, I always buy when it comes to the Japanese one. I always buy the CDs and DVD ones. Next up, we have Toho Shinki, also or Dongbang Shinki, Heart, Mind, and Soul. Then we have Toho Shinki's Begin. Begin, Heart, Mind. I think the album came out. 
Next up, Loving You by Toho Shinji. Then we have Stay With Me Tonight by Toho Shinji. <laughs> then we have T, another one. Why do I have two? Okay, so this one actually because it has like two DVDs and two CDs. So it's a little different, but yeah. I also have their OST, which is um, mini dramas that they did. So it's um, Vacation. Really, really good. Vacation. Vacation. Next up, we have Toho Shinki's Sky. And last but not least of the Toho Shinki's is Five in the Black. Then we have SM Town 2011, The Warmest Gift. Winter album that they came out with. Beautiful. And they came out with two versions. Um, I have the gold version. Okay, so now going into another artist, we are going to do Super Junior. Um, the very first one I got was Super Junior's You. And this was the album that actually got me into Super Junior. You. And if you open it up, you have all 13 of them together. It's really nice. I really like this single that they had. And the last of Super Junior was um, Super Junior M, the Taiwan version of their um, what is this? first album, Me. Okay, so next up we are going to go to Zaya. So, Zaya. Zaya's my Oniwa special mini album. Really, really big as you can see from, from before. They were like all small and albums nowadays are getting bigger and bigger. Next we have Zaya's special edition, Lovability. Their first album. This is a special edition. Nice and pretty. Then we have Zaya's, um, this is the Taiwan version actually. Zaya's, um, Child of Empire or Zaya's Empire Hits. Children of M ah. <laughs> Children of Empire Empire Hits, yeah. So it has all their hit songs and also includes DVDs as well. Then we have um Zaya also Lovability. This is also their first this their first made their first album. I can't speak. Um this is the Deluxe Special Asian Edition. So it comes with um all of these together. So you have this is um the CD and DVD, this is the photo cards, and this is their CD with um with photo book. Next up, you kiss. We have you kisses only one first album, only one. Nice and pretty. I love the design. Then we have you kisses forever first kiss DVD. It's CD plus DVD. 